different lineups, including Jonathan Kane on keyboards and Steve Smith on drums, have made the band sound more open, less complex, and more rock than jazz. Kane came to Journey from the pop group The Baby. Smith talks about his own musical background. For my, in my case, I was a side man playing with different leaders. I toured for a year and a half with Jean Luc Ponty. I toured for almost a year with Ronnie Montrose. And that was really the, the gig that um, got me into Journey because we were the opening act for Journey and they saw me play every night for about three months. And uh, at the end of the three months, they asked me if I would be interested in joining the band. You have to come to the show to believe it because everybody has a really good time. From what I understand, you have an outrageous production on stage. Yeah. Can it's, you describe it to people who have not seen you, the one or two who have not seen you yet? It, well, <laughs> um, to start with, the stage itself um, is, is real clean looking. The only thing you really see is the drum set and Jonathan's gigantic red piano. and. Uh, the amplifiers and everything are, are uh, tucked away underneath platforms and, and uh, runways and, and uh, different configurations of the stage. And uh, the sound system is flying above the stage. So there's an unobstructed view mm -hmm. all the way around. So we have people that sit behind us and beside us, whereas before, um, with, and you have your PA stacked on either side of the stage. You, people from the sides or from the back can't, can't see. see. Yeah. And uh, a gigantic new lighting truss that kind of looks like a spider. So, there's so many people that come in and you know in and out of the shows, and you never know who's sick or you can lose your voice. And and trying to go on stage and perform and stay healthy is really a, a, can be a pressure. I think exercise and I was and say, I ready for and eating right, mm -hmm. and uh, you just have to get good habits, I think, uh, when you're on the road. And eating right is hard to do when you're on the road, though, it isn't is. it? Yeah, it can be. The right diet. For me, I, I think um, to be consistent, you know, for a band to consistently sound great and excited and exciting every night for six months takes a lot of work. And like Jonathan was saying, it's still the same thing with the rest. and and eating right, but it also has to do with the vibe among the band members. And uh, after six months of living together, that goes up and down, you know, like any sort of relationship. It Just really does go up yeah. and down, and, and uh, you see the result of it every night. We really strive for success and, um, and have achieved success, I think, fairly uh, uh, consistently. Like Steve said, that's the whole key, is to think of consistency and when you set a standard for yourself, you know, you want to keep hitting that mark. Uh, and, I mean, this is a, a crazy business, and, and when your time is right, your time is right. Just like an athlete who has, you know, a numbered amount of years to where mm -hmm. he knows he can perform and put out. And uh, I think in that case, we're taking it in stride, you know. Uh, we felt like we went to the Super Bowl last year, and we, you know, we were sort of uh, successful that way. I think really successful, and we feel like you know, we went there, we have the chops to go back there again, and we're, we have that team spirit that allows us to, to think that, you know, like the Steelers did for those years, for that mm -hmm. legacy, that time that they were the champions, that they can go back and win, and I feel that way about us.